I remember the first time that I really became aware that there was music in a movie and that the music was written for that movie specifically was the original Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the movie made in the 70s. So I would have been eight or nine years old, something like that, and it suddenly dawned on me like somebody somewhere had to write this music for this movie so that I can watch the movie and hear it and you know that it's an actual job you know and it's not just something that someone somewhere does it's something that maybe I could do it that was a, a score that was personally important to me I listened to a lot of Bernard Herrmann when I was uh, in my formative years I guess you'd say but honestly these days we're able to pull elements from so many different places and in fact I think film music is one of the one of the greatest sort of melting pots in all of music and especially now with the rise of the DJ culture where you can very quickly mash up different styles, different instruments, that's actually informing a little bit of what you're hearing in, in movies as well. There's so many unique and different ways to bring in elements of, it could be hip hop, it could be rock, it could be pop, it could be concert music, it could be all of those things, it could be instruments from parts of the world that you, you've never gone to, you just need to find a musician who can play it, you know, all of these things come together, that's to me what's making film music so interesting. You know, movies have scenes all over the world, you know, and they, and they have scenes in worlds that don't even exist, and so that's our joy. That's, that's the music we get to create.